In a few months, it will mark one year since trailer one dropped and our eyes were glued to the screen in awe watching the first Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. What are we going to see this time around though, later this year, most likely when trailer two is officially unveiled. That's what we're going to be getting into in today's video. But before we hop straight into it today, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome on in. Please consider subscribing to Project Vice, like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you never miss another GTA 6 upload. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so any of your help would be greatly appreciated. But on that, let's hop straight into the video. So if we cast our minds back to previous Rockstar Games titles and what they have done with their second trailers, looking back at Grand Theft Auto V's second trailer, we actually did see this time around, not only just Michael, we also saw our other two main protagonists, that being Trevor and Franklin. And this was Rockstar Games showing to us that not only we're we gonna be playing as one protagonist like we did in any other previous Grand Theft Auto title, but for the first time ever within the GTA franchise that we're gonna be playing as a three playable protagonists. Now, not only did we see our three main protagonists, but we actually saw some side characters that were featured within the trailer. Now, we didn't really know at the time how much of a role that they would play, but we did see Lamar, as you can see on screen now, in one of the scenes with Michael. And we also did see a shot with Jimmy and Michael in the car. And I think at the time, I don't know if it was necessarily shown that that was Michael's son, but I think it was alluding to the fact that he was related to Michael to some degree. And we even saw Tanisha, who we later find out once we play the game, that this is one of Franklin's past girlfriends. Even though she plays a minor role within GTA 5's storyline, she was showcased within the trailer. Then switching gears to RDR2's second trailer, we saw Arthur Morgan, obviously our main protagonist that we do play as within the game. But we also see Dutch Vanderlyn, who was mainly involved within the storyline and the dynamic between Arthur and Dutch was obviously something that we did see throughout the story and with the Vanderlyn gang as well. And we do see the Vanderlyn gang in one of the scenes within the trailer. Now, we didn't really know it was the gang at the time, but we saw Hosea Matthews in the middle, Bill Williamson to the left, and Arthur Morgan on the right. And as you can see here, this is one of the missions where we burn down the Braithwaite Manor house. And then we see one of the side characters who was sort of featured within the game storyline, had a bit of a minor role, and that is Sadie Adler. So we see her featured within this specific shot within the trailer she has a bit of dialogue as well which is particularly interesting and i do remember a lot of people within the community at the time thought that we we're going to be playing as sadie adler as our second main protagonist obviously that didn't end up being the case but a lot of people did think that at the time now before we head into the next part of the video just let me tell you about today's video sponsor private internet access a big thank you big ups to them for sponsoring the video once again today we are aware internet privacy is super important a lot of games though on the market use a p2p model otherwise Otherwise known as a peer-to-peer -peer model where you're essentially not actually playing on a server but you're connecting to someone else's console and they're actually connecting to yours an example of this is GTA online an issue with this is that it makes it super easy for someone to actually access your IP address which is unsafe and not secure at all however by using private internet access it will actually help you overcome these issues as it will provide a barrier between yourself and the other person's console you can change your location to one of 50 US states or 91 countries. Now this is beneficial if you are in the US because you can actually change your location to a nearby state rather than having to ping your location to the other side of the world. So not only will you get super fast gameplay but still remain completely private in the process. For me as well as my fellow content creator Cyberboy we're both using a VPN whenever we're playing online. So if you want to save yourself 83% off and get four months free click the link down below. It's only $2.03 a month which is an insanely good deal. So the big question on every single person's mind at the moment is what exactly are we going to be seeing within trailer 2? What can we expect out of this second trailer from Rockstar Games? Well, based off a lot of the things that I mentioned earlier in the video, we are most likely going to be seeing much more of Jason this time around. Considering the first trailer, we only heard him say the word trust responding to Lucia. We did see quite a fair bit of Lucia in the first trailer. Obviously, she was narrating the story from her perspective. She had a fair bit of dialogue, much more than Jason. We also did see Vice City, the surrounding areas as well, and social media and how that's going to play a role within Grand Theft Auto 6 and the storyline itself. I guess that's a pretty easy prediction to make that we are going to be seeing more of Jason, but I think another thing to consider as well, which I mentioned earlier in the video also, is the fact that we are likely going to be seeing side characters having a bit of a feature within the second trailer trailer similar to GTA 5's second trailer with Lamar, Tanisha, Jimmy and RDR2's second trailer with Sadie Adler 
and to some degree with that one shot with part of the Vanderlyn gang. If you're familiar with the September 22 leaked footage and files by now, you would know that there were some side characters that were featured. And if their names are still kept the same, as we all know, the game is currently still in development. So anything can get changed up until the final version when it is released later next year. And that is Wyman, who does have seem to have a close relationship to Jason. Also Dre, who we do get introduced to within the strip club when Lucia and Jason are walking in there. We also see messages from Shanice booby as well and potentially the third rumored protagonist which is just a rumor it's not necessarily any confirmation at the moment but kai who was one of the characters featured in the leaked footage who a lot of people are thinking was already within the first trailer obviously we don't know for sure but he is someone that a lot of people are thinking is going to have a bit more of a significant role in comparison to other side characters nevertheless though i'll give you my prediction i'd say we are most likely going to be seeing not only just more of Jason more of the dynamic between Lucia and Jason I don't think we're going to be seeing too much of social media because we saw quite a fair bit of that within the first trailer I'd say we still will be seeing some parts of Vice City and the state of Leonida as well that would be featured within the trailer but I think if it's more story focused that's going to be better because that's going to give us much more it's for the fans as well much more of a clearer understanding of what we are going to be getting out of GTA 6 not only just from the sandbox the world of Vice City and Leonida, but also just the story itself, how that is going to work, how are Jason and Lucia going to coexist together, that is something that a lot of people are very, very interested in seeing, including myself. And also some of the side characters probably having a little bit of a role and potentially some dialogue within the second trailer is most likely something we are going to be seeing as well. But now I want to pass it over to you guys. What do you think Trailer 2 is going to show us? Do you think we are going to be seeing more of Jason or do you think we're just going to be seeing more of Vice City, Leonida, what that is on offer when we are going to be getting the game later next year? Also, do you think we are going to be seeing much more side characters having a bit of a role within the second trailer? And not only this, what do you personally want to see within this second trailer from Rockstar? I'll be very, very curious to read your comments and hear from you guys down there. Nonetheless, though, it is exciting times ahead. I know it's been painstakingly frustrating waiting from Rockstar Games, waiting for more GTA 6 news, but I'd say we are likely going to be seeing updated GTA 6 info and the hotly anticipated trailer too, of course, as well. But that, guys, make sure to subscribe to Project Vice, like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upcoming GTA 6 upload. Make sure to stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I am out.